This book is called Grandma and the Pirates. It was because of her wonderful noodle pudding that Grandma met the pirates. On a warm summer day when Melissa was over in the meadow picking buttercups and daisies, Oliver said to Grandma, I want a noodle. So Grandma cooked a noodle pudding and set it on the windowsill to cool. A delicious noodly aroma wafted out to the warm sea. Yum, said Oliver. Yo, ho, yum, said three hungry savage pirates who happened to be sailing past. None of them could cook very well. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they ate raw fish and barnacles. At snack time, they sucked on seaweed. When that delicious noodley aroma reached their three savage noses, they stopped the ship, dropped the anchor, and rowed ashore. Yo ho, yum yum, we smell noodles, we want some. Look out noodles, here we come. They swaggered up to grandma's house and grabbed the noodle pudding. Unhand those noodles, cried grandma but they swallowed them down. Oh, oh, oh. Better than seaweed, they said. What else is there to eat? They opened Grandma's cupboard and into their pirate sacks they put strawberry shortcake, mashed potatoes, pickled beets, roast, luscious meatball stew, lamb chops, lollipops, peanut butter, pizza pie, popcorn, pumpernickel bread, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, blueberry juice, apricot dumplings, rich chocolate mousse, cold chicken salad, spicy apple strudel, oatmeal muffins, and then they took every last noodle. Then, as if that wasn't enough, they popped Grandma and Oliver into their pirate sack too. Help, help, we're being kidnapped by pirates, yelled Grandma and Oliver. When Melissa heard their cries, she dropped those buttercups and ran back to the house as fast as she could. She wasn't fast enough. They were gone. Melissa looked out at the ship, still anchored in the bay. She could hear the roar and clamor the pirates were making as they fought over who had the most food. They'll be eating all day, she said to herself. I'll wait until dark. It will be safer to rescue Grandma and Oliver then. By the light of the moon, she swam out to the ship and climbed aboard. The pirates were fast asleep. How happy Melissa, Grandma, and Oliver were to see each other. Lower the small boat. We'll sneak away while the pirates are sleeping, whispered Melissa. It's not going to be easy, said Grandma. The boss pirate chained Oliver to the parrot perch. He keeps the key in his boot. Melissa tiptoed over and reached into the boot. Ho, ho, the boss pirate laughed. He was very ticklish. He laughed so hard he woke himself up. He woke the other pirates up too. Then he stopped laughing and growled. It isn't nice to steal. You stole my grandma and Oliver. Quiet, the boss pirate roared. She's my grandma now, and you are my new cabin boy. Swab the deck. The pirates pulled up anchor and sailed away, taking grandma, Melissa, and Oliver with them. It wasn't a bad life. At least they were together. Ollie learned pirate songs. We're rough, we're tough, we're gruff, 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 gruff. We're gruff, we're tough, we're rough, 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 rough. Grandma cooked lots of noodle pudding and Melissa helped sail the ship. It might have been fun, but the pirates were mean and nasty. They sailed their pirate ship around the world, robbing and plundering everywhere. And when they were robbing and, robbing and plundering, they were teasing poor Oliver. He must be seasick. He looks a little green. They would grab his noodle and say, Polly don't want a noodle. Polly want a cracker? 
the situation was becoming desperate. Every time they tried to escape, they were caught. Once, when the pirates were busy counting their gold, Melissa lowered a boat, but the boat rattled and banged against the side of the ship. Another time, Grandma thought they should hide in a treasure tre chest and get carried ashore. That might have worked, but Oliver sneezed. Then one day, as they were nearing the island of Bula Bula, Melissa said something shocking. We have to stop trying to get away from them. Never, cried Grandma. No, you don't understand, said Melissa. Melissa, we don't have to get away from them. We know how to sail this ship. Let's trick them into getting away from us. Here's the plan. I will draw a fake map and pretend to be whispering about a lost treasure buried on Bula Bula Island. They waited until they were sure the pirates were listening. Psst, 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 psst. Treasure. Psst, 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 psst. Map. Psst, 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 psst. Bula Bula. The pirate boss grabbed the map. Oh, please don't steal our treasure, said Melissa. Ho, ho, ho. The pirate laughed, it's my treasure now. Grandma, Melissa, and Oliver watched as they scrambled up the island's rocky coast. They're going to love it there, said Melissa, and she pulled up the anchor and sailed away. The pirates dug a lot of holes in Bula Bula Island before they noticed Egads, who stole the ship? 